Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Talos of Tech, live on YouTube with a very different situation. For one, I'm laying on the floor, I'm not in my office, but there's a very good reason for it, and hey, I couldn't do this with my iMac Pro. Thank God I have a MacBook, right? So unfortunately, unlike all the other YouTubers on Tim Cook's nice list who got their MacBook Air today, uh, I have to wait till tomorrow like everybody else. And because I'm in the Pacific time zone and because I'm not near the, uh, the shipping location, I'm probably gonna have to wait till later in the day when I do get the MacBook. But we did get another Apple product of sorts in the mail. It's not a new one, but uh, it's one I haven't had for a while. Uh, because these were on sale. These were, you could get them for 109 bucks if you had Amazon Prime on Prime Day. Uh, Apple's been selling them up until I think today is the last day to do it. Um, but if you buy one of these from Apple, you get a $50 gift card in return. Um, but I actually was grateful enough, um, I was lucky enough to uh, get this from my good friend Mike, who's been on the tech podcast a few times. He's been on the EV podcast a lot more. Uh, but he wanted to try one out himself, and he was like, hey, I'm picking one up. Do you want to try one and see if it fixes? Because he was hearing me complain about my TV all the time. Um, so we're going to see if this fixes the issues. But thank you, Mike, for uh, making this live stream possible. I don't have the TV doing it right now, but basically all the time when I'm in the middle of watching content, uh, it crashes, and it has all kinds of... I'm pretty convinced it's just the Roku inside of it getting old. So this is a 55-inch 4K... Um, Roku built-in TV, so there's no separate box or anything. Uh, this is the remote that, well, a remote like this is what came with it, uh, which is obviously not great. It's pretty plasticky. This is actually the second remote we've had to go through. The first one broke on us, and the volume buttons didn't work anymore, but that's how you control it and everything. Um, and we accidentally hit these four buttons all the time, which sucks because we basically don't use any of those um, services except Prime. Um, but Hulu, Sling, Netflix, don't really use most of those, so we'll accidentally be in the middle of watching stuff, and you'll bump it, and it takes you to a completely different app. It's very annoying, um, and obviously the Siri remote is way better, but, uh, the reason I didn't get this for the longest time is just because I thought the price was too high, but now that seems to be changing with all the sales going on and Apple offering gift cards, which... Apple gift cards are basically cash, let's be honest. Do you think you're gonna buy an Apple product and, like, never buy one again? How many of you are like, yeah, I'll probably, for the rest of my life, I'll never once uh, buy another Apple product. So the gift card you can put towards your next Apple purchase, which is inevitable. I don't think anyone on earth can say they're never going to buy an Apple product again, right? Um, so we got the 4K one. This is the 32 gigs of storage. Um, Halami says he's on his work break. Cool. New to Apple Watch, which should I get? Uh, nothing right now. You should wait because we're only two months away from the Apple Watch Series 8 and the Apple Watch SE 2 and probably the Apple Watch Pro. Um, it, and even if you don't like those, you'll be able to get the Series 6 or whatever, or 7 for certified refurbished cheaper. So probably don't buy one at all right now, but simply because I'm an Apple sheep and I'm a YouTuber, so I can't help myself. There's no way I could unbox this without being with you guys, without being present. Oh, but that's not all. We also got a uh, HDMI 2.1 cable, which I've never actually used before. So the Apple TV does have HDMI. Um, it does have HDMI 2.1, which is funny because my MacBook does not. This thing costs like six grand, and it doesn't get a HDMI 2.1 port. And this one does, even though it has the A12 chip, and it's basically $100. So the other reason I didn't want an Apple TV for the longest time is because I don't like the, the TV box setup. I want it to be baked in. As you can see here, even though the firmware on the TV is kind of sucky, I love the, the cleanness of this setup. We actually just got... Um, some new shelves over here, so we had to move stuff over. But uh, originally, there was nothing beneath the TV. So it was completely clean. It's mounted to the wall, and um, it just had one power cable. And I'm still not completely in love with the idea that I have to have two power cables now because i got to have one for the TV uh, and one for the Apple TV, which is a separate box. I would much rather it... I think it would be a much cleaner setup if it was an uh, Apple TV stick, Apple TV Nano, or something like that. Um, but that's okay because we had to move, uh, we have a lot of books and we have a lot of storage stuff anyway, so because we already had this little console thing right beneath the TV, we were like, eh, getting the Apple TV isn't gonna be that much of a difference anyway. But, uh, the other thing I haven't used for a while that I've heard has changed, when I first got the, uh, tvOS Apple TVs, it was kind of hard to permanently connect your HomePods 
to the Apple TV and use them as a dedicated uh, pair of speakers. I've been told, I've heard from other sources that they have changed that. They have updated tvOS so that now, like when I did it, every time you turned on the TV, you had to connect uh, the HomePods manually. It would not automatically connect to the HomePods. And now people are saying you can, um, but if they're wrong, I will find them and I will punish them. <laughs> no. But uh, I don't have Apple Music. I haven't had it for a long time. So that makes this HomePod a lot less useful. Um, and honestly, when I'm listening to music, I don't want to bother my wife if she's watching something. So I'm typically using headphones anyway. So this has not been used for many, many months. In fact, it's basically just turned into a, a mount for my phone when I'm using continuity camera. That's the most Apple sheep sentence someone could ever say. But now that we're getting an Apple TV and people are saying that I can use this as a dedicated speaker, I thought this is going to sound way, way better than the built-in speakers in that TV, which are honestly not bad, I'll admit. Like, for a built-in pair of speakers, they're honestly kind of impressive to me. But uh, obviously not very many low frequencies. It just kind of gets the job done. It's not bad enough for me to want to spend money to fix it, but... It could be better, and obviously this sounds much better. It gets way louder than the TV does. And uh, as long as I get to control it from the Apple TV remote, and uh, the other goal here by the end of this setup, which I'm going to try to figure out today, is to not have to use this remote at all. I, am, I hate setups that require multiple remotes. I do not tolerate those. Um, so I will consider myself a failure in life if I can't configure the whole Apple TV so that I only need to use... The remote uh, of, of this one because I love this remote this one's aluminum it's easy to see it's a, it feels good in the hand the volume rocker is really solid it's got a Siri button this doesn't even have the dictation feature which is super useful when you're trying to look up stuff so HomePod new cable new Apple TV new remote there's a lot of setting up to do I figured I'm gonna have to do this anyway why not do it live because it's Thursday and that's typically when we go live um, you probably need to update the HomePod with new software. Yeah, probably. Wouldn't be shocked if I had to. Um, if Apple would partner with like LG and just shove an A14 inside an AK OLED TV, that would be great. I would love that, Scott. I'm totally there with you. They should make dedicated TVs with tvOS built in. Um, you could use them with the Apple TV and it stays paired. Now it does. Back when I was doing it in the early days, you couldn't do that. Uh, it worked really well, but since I have a stereo pair, it just completely terrible. Really? Because of the stereo? Hey, Daniel. Hey, Tyler. Welcome to the stream. Roku TVs are amazing. Uh, ours has been fine up until now. Now it's really struggling with Discovery, with Paramount. It just struggles to play the content, even though the Wi-Fi is fine. I can play the exact same content off my phone with the same Wi-Fi, but the TV crashes and the apps don't load right. Um, so yeah, I got to make sure you have CEC on. I remember that. Um, Tyler's watching me while working. Ooh, ooh. Uh, do you think that the Apple Watch will cost a thousand dollars? The Pro one, yeah, probably. Don't uh, don't be surprised with the inflationary environment we're in. There's gonna be price hikes on everything, probably even the iPhone 14. But okay, that's enough orientation. Um, I gotta I gotta rip into this. I don't remember if this is what the box looked like originally. When the Apple TV 4K came out. The AirPods Max existed, but yeah, they have a little AirPods Max icon on the back, which is cool. The packaging is from 2021 though. So this has probably been sitting in a warehouse for a while. In the packaging that they shipped it with, uh, I'm not trying to be rude or anything. This is fine. I think they shipped it with some kind of, uh, is it DHL or what's the shipping carrier that uses like random people, like Uber? Like it was not UPS. It was not FedEx. There was just a random person in in her van, and she had her kid with her, and she just pulled up to our house, and with a box. And the kid got out of the car too. And she was on her phone and they both walked you know, right up to our front door and they were like, hey, delivery. I was like, they, they don't have a uniform on? It's just random people. I guess that's probably cheaper. Um, so that's how, that's how they're able to get those deals so good. But it's just kind of weird, you know? You're used to a delivery person showing up and there's just a random, yeah, it is DHL. That's what I thought. <laughs> but okay. The pl they're still using plastic on these boxes. Apple, why do you hate the environment so much? Okay, let's open it from the front here. This is when I find out I got scammed. Well, it sure looks clean. Wow. 
Okay, you got all the plastic all the way around. It doesn't even look like it has plastic on it, which honestly, if they designed this wrapping better, I would have been more comfortable um, just leaving it on, but you have to take it off to access the ports on the back. They're covered up. Uh, even if I just wanted to partially, yeah, it doesn't even expose the HDMI cable. So the only way to do it is all the way. It's clean, though. Listen to that. Wow, that looks shiny, and it will never look that good again. And there's no more USB-C port on this one. I think I could leave this plastic part on. That's not going to hurt much, is it? Yeah, that would preserve it so that if it gets scratched over, to, you know, I don't want it to get scratched over time. Or it... Too late. I ripped it off. A12 chip in a box. It's like a Mac Mini Mini. The OG Siri remote. That's right. That's where it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be. That's another thing I have an issue with. At least when you pay full price for these things, they still don't come with an HDMI cable, which is quite frustrating. This is what matters, though. This is what we want. Oh, yes. That I missed this. This is so clean. Oh, it's so clicky, too. Oh, I'm probably turning it on yet. Ugh. Isn't that Amazon Flex? It's a part of the Prime Delivery Network, but you can apply from your phone. Oh, maybe that's what it is. I don't know. Um, they're still using a box, be like nothing, and use no packaging. Uh, what's a good remote? It's terrible and cheap and has visible screws, which the old one did not. I think this is closer to the OG remote, but I don't, I don't like the glass one. It's so, it's too thin and it slips between the couch cushions and it's all black. It's hard to see. This one is very easy to see in the dark. And I gotta train this to become the only TV. Um, no USB-C port. I guess your SOL if an update fails doesn't happen very often. In fact, I think if uh, an update fails, it just installs a new version. I've seen what happens. It's like network recovery. People are all like, oh, if it's portless, it doesn't work if the software... It's like, not, not really. It doesn't happen that much. They wouldn't remove it if it was a common problem. So, all right. We've got, in the rest of the box, probably power. This is normal cardboard, I guess. Nothing fancy here. But man, it's really stuck. Oh, I see. I'm an idiot. Okay, you pull this tab like that, and then it opens up. And luckily, this power cord can stay pretty thin thanks to the power supply being baked in to the TV. I would honestly rather the power supply be external and the TV box be smaller, but that's a personal preference thing. That's what the HomePod Mini does. The HomePod Mini uses the big charge brick. This doesn't need a big brick because it's internal. Okay, let's give it some power. Um, so many people have cracked the first gen remotes. It's terrible with durability and it's too thin. Yeah, I agree. This is, this is t for me at least, a thousand percent better because while I could get used to the trackpad, most people I had over, including my wife, could not. And they much rather preferred the standard D-pad. This is the perfect combination of both. If you want the trackpad, it's a trackpad. If you want the standard D-pad, it's a D-pad. Plus it has a mute button, which is super useful for me. Um... The USB-C port is helpful when you are setting up like 50 to 100 at a time. Yes, and no one does that. So let's give power to this baby. I think I can move it closer. I can move you guys closer so that you can see all these glorious details. Hopefully the MacBook battery lasts this whole live stream. I'm not sure if it will. We're at 58% right now. I've been working out here a lot of the day. And... Uh, where do I want this? I guess we should put it up here for now. My wife will come home later and rearrange it all, but she's better at that kind of thing. I just want to get it working. So power first. Right here. Oh, it actually has a display. It's just one pixel. It's very, it's a very small display, but it technically exists. Is Apple TV 120 hertz? I don't think so, but it could, no, it could be. Depends on the monitor. Um, the power button added, that's true. Uh, if you set up 50 or more, you use DEP and MDM. Take notes, okay? Visualization gave it here. I ordered so many shows with my butt by accident. <laughs> Excuse me, I signed up for TV Plus with my butt. <laughs> that was a, unintentional. All right. Let's use our super duper uh, HDMI 2.1 cable with 8K. Man, this cable's braided too. Not a sponsor, but shout out to 
Pivzva. I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> okay. Finally. I like how they got rid of USB-C because they're like, maintenance ports don't matter, but with Ethernet, they're like, no, yeah, it needs Ethernet. I don't know why. What are you doing on the Apple TV that needs an Ethernet? But now I'm going to get five people answering that question in the chat for me because you are all so smart. Thank you. Now we got to squeeze into the back here because it's mounted pretty close to the wall. Which one is HDMI? One. I can't even see it. My hand is too big. I can't fit back here. TV is too close to the wall. Wouldn't it be funny if it fell off? Here. If it falls off, I want to get a good angle, so I gotta adjust it. Alright. Oh! We have made contact! Okay. And while that's booting up, I might as well put the home pod up here. Uh, so we can have louder noise. That would be good. Um, if your TV setup doesn't make your neighbors complain, then you're doing something wrong. The goal is to make sure everyone who lives next to you is mad at you at all times. Uh, we're not doing a good job. Our neighbors never complain. Um, HDMI arc. I know. It's not labeled on the back. This is, this is a pretty cheap TV, to be honest, but it gets the job done. It's a 55-inch 4K TCL. Um, with a Roku built in. We bought it in 2018 for like 400 bucks, and it's been pretty good for us. Would you ever invest in a high-end OLED TV? Probably not, because like I said, I don't, I don't mind the... The panel is not the problem. The panel looks good. It gets plenty bright. Um, I'm happy with it. Uh, it. Honestly, even though it's not an OLED panel, the, the dark pixels get pretty dark. And uh, I'm not that big of a XDR snob. I'm more of a refresh rate snob, but when I'm on TV, I'm not watching stuff at 120 anyway. So now we got some more stuff to set up. Okay. Let's see. HDMI. I hope I plugged into the arc. Okay, I think I did. The one true arc. Hey, it says hello. Okay. Why don't I... Hey, Chris Norton, thank you for the super chat. That was nice of you. He says, hello, Drew, super chatting from my PC. Well, that's nice of you. Yes, it's a 4K TV. Yes, it has HDR technically, but I don't think it's a very... There's like 40 different versions of HDR, and I see it. it a badge activates when it plays HDR content, and I don't think it's that noticeable. So, I've looked at TVs with OLED and with, you know, actual HDR, and I'm, not, I'm always like, okay, it's bright. I get it. Um... Bilkin. I never had a problem with the original black remote as long as it's put into a case. Yeah, I'm not doing a case. I'm sorry. Um, lots of Apple TV apps have added the iPod style fast forwarding for the new remote. Well, that's good. So the easy part of setup for me should be, and I don't know if this is going to dox me, so I'm going to back you up for a second. Um, I should be able to easily hold my phone near the TV and have it offer to auto set up. At least I've seen it do that before. Now it's just saying, hola. Huh. Maybe it's not gonna do that. Maybe it wants to connect to the remote first. Um, I assume you are not planning on getting a sound, but that is correct. <laughs> um, hello. Can I interest you in the product you came with? Yes, English, please. Let's see if the... Oh, spoiler alert. I live in the United States, but don't tell anyone. Um, how come you got an Apple TV again? Well, because I didn't keep the first one I got but because it was too expensive, but now they've gotten way cheaper, and uh, our TVs have been acting up. Um, so I figured this was a good time. Uh, I think my monitor is HDR 400, which is simply not HDR. That's probably what this is, Ryan. We're still on T-Mobile Home Internet. Trust me. I, I promise I will let you know if I change internet providers. I'm not going to secretly behind the scenes. You guys think when the tech news is this dry, I would quietly switch internet providers? Heck no. If there's any slight price change, any 
software update that is worth noting with T-Mobile Home Internet, I will make a point to talk about it. Uh, Raymond, thank you for the super chat. Can you get Apple Care after 60 days after purchase? That's not a great question for me because I am not Apple support, but um, I think so. I think yes. Um, narrowed down Drew's location to the U.S. Uh, it should say, hello there, General Kenobi. Oh, yeah, let's set it up with the, let's see if this works. Just in case. I don't remember exactly what this is going to show. So thanks to the image signal processor in the M1 Max, I'm just going to go, boop. Now you guys can't see crap. All right, what happens if I look away? Actually, it's hard to tell. Set up with iPhone. Okay, I see the pop-up on my phone. So I'm gonna hit set up and see if it works. Setting up your Apple TV. Can you guys see that? I don't think you can. That's good. What is the code? Okay. Your Apple TV couldn't be set up. Oh, it's because my phone's not on Wi-Fi. That's probably why. <laughs> I wanna try it again. I should probably keep my phone on the same Wi-Fi so it knows what uh, to connect to. All right, I put the phone close. Now the pop-up's not there. Now it's there. Set up your Apple TV. This is a cool feature when it works. Setting up, activating. Come on, Apple, you can do it. It's loading. We're hooking up the A12 chip to the T-Mobile. Um, let's see, 42069. <laughs> Texas, don't say that. Um, please give me a minute, to, a minute to look over your information. Uh, requires a genius bar appointment to verify eligibility for Apple Care Plus. Oh, they probably have to inspect the device itself, don't they? You can change the name of the HDMI icon on the Roku TV to whatever device you have. Well, good news. I don't have any other devices plugged into the Roku, and I don't plan to add any more devices. So I, at the end of the day, my goal is that with the, oh, it's a setting up home kit now. That's interesting. It's, it's still loading. Um, so take your time, TV. We got time. My goal is for this to be the only remote. We, we got to get rid of this thing. This plastic piece of crap I want to throw away and uh, no I won't actually but I want this to power on the TV power off the TV and um I don't maybe even change in inputs but I never have any other inputs anyway so I don't really care if it doesn't change inputs as long as when I turn it on it boots up to the Apple TV that's the goal um that is the wifey correct the wi-fi the wi-fi love if you're not too concerned with HDR and Dolby Vision, why not get a Google TV? Because I want this remote, please. Um, always making a purchase. Do you want to require a password? <laughs> Never. Oh, it's making sounds. That's good. Okay. Uh, have a TV provider? Nope, because I am a Gen Z. One home screen, keep your apps and home screen turned. Uh, sure. Where is the Apple TV? Uh, automatically download screensavers. Okay. Do I want to share with app developers? Sure, I got nothing to hide. I'm not a criminal. And I agree to all terms and conditions. Boom! Okay, it's set up. I'm, bl I'm blurring it because I don't know if it's going to pop up and be like, is this your home address and your social security? So sorry, it's blurry. But okay. We have the Apple TV app. Oh, it remembered some of the apps I have, not all of them. It put Prime Video up there. It's putting Netflix up there, which I don't have. Okay. Uh, it's t a TV OS is much better than whatever crap uh, Google TV has. I do recommend using your phone to calibrate the screen. I did do that with the last time. The last time I had an Apple TV, and it changed nothing. But I could do the calibration thing if you want. It's already making loud noises. Um, probably in video and audio, huh? Let's see. Color calibration. Color balance. For best results. You will need an iPhone. Oh! Use remote on your iPhone. Done. Oh. Color balance. Here we go. I think I can turn this off. 
Yeah. Preparing. We're gonna sink these two. Whoa. Wow, I have to touch the TV for this to work. Oh my god. Your television's color balance is accurate. All right. It doesn't need to be calibrated right now. Ha. Take that, all of you TCL haters. It's fine. Okay, I'm going home. Uh, share the movies and that. No, people don't do that, Apple. Hey, it's already on Peacock. That's cool. We can watch 90 Day Fiance, my guilty pleasure. Wow, it remembered. The last time I had an Apple TV, this was my home screen layout. It just remembered all that. That's funny. Okay, um, so I could download a bunch of apps, but that's not interesting. What I want to do is audio. I want to connect to the HomePod. We're on 4K HDR mode. Audio output. That's what we need. Uh, default audio output, TV speakers, wait. HomePod on? Yeah, you're on. Okay. Uh, I don't want temporary audio output. Interesting. Choose a TV. Uh, leaked. Uh, I wish I had an Apple TV in the form of a stick. I do too. Uh, use the 4K Apple remote for the television usage and then only using the TV remote for the source switching. Oh, I see. Well, I don't, I don't even want to deal with that. What subscription services do you have? Thankfully, I think I got rid of most of them. <laughs> we get Paramount Plus for free with T-Mobile, so that doesn't cost us anything, although there are commercials. And then we get Discovery Plus through a friend, um, so we don't have to pay for that. And then we do have YouTube Premium, so that's, that's one service we have, because I watch more YouTube than anything. Now I can use Fitness Plus, oh no. Apple needs to release 120 hertz on the Apple TV. Yeah, HDMI 2.1 can support that, so they're technically only a software update away if they wanted to. Um, I noticed that the calibration works on some TVs and doesn't really work well on other TVs. It works on one, but not the other. Huh, that is interesting. Considering my TV is shared with P my PS5 and Xbox, I very much need my original remote. Well, we gotta figure out a way to kill this off. I'm trying to figure out why, why is the HomePod not showing up here? Is it through AirPlay? Audio format auto. Audio mode auto. You would think audio output. Uh, AirPlay and HomeKit, maybe that's what I mean. No? Home hub connected. AirPlay display, okay. Now this stream gets really interesting. It just becomes a uh, uh, tech setup. Is my HomePod on? Yes. I held down the top and it lit up. So I don't know what... Hey Siri, tell me a joke. I finally got around to reading that Stephen Hawking book. It's about time. Oh! <laughs> I get it now. Remotes and devices. Maybe that's it. Other devices. Um, home computer control. Auto via infrared. Oh, can I control? Oh, I can. All right, that's already working. So I can control the volume through the TV remote of the actual TV. That's good. And um, click pad, click and touch. Oh, that's the one thing I don't like about this remote. It is still lightning, and I just remembered that. Uh, my wife does all the cord management stuff. I, I could arrange it a certain way, but she's going to rearrange it when she gets home. Remote app and devices. Learn remote. Oh, that's interesting. So here's the tricky part. Um, to connect my HomePod, I had to set up audio output, and it should just show up. That's what I did, and it wasn't there. That's weird. Audio output, yeah. Do I do temporary audio output? Oh. Yeah, I do see it there, but I don't want it to be temporary. Living room flashlight? What? Or do I... No, that doesn't do anything. Huh. Apple TV will always play audio through your TV speakers. 
Let me test this. Tell me a joke. Oh, she's not talking. I'm thinking of starting a social media network for chickens, but not as my full-time job, just as a way to make hens meet. Ooh. Assign same room in the home app. Oh. It needs to be in the same room in the home app or it will not work. Gotcha. Okay. I think I can do that on the phone, right? Or can can I not? Add yourself. Uh, we don't need that right now. Okay. Apple TV. Edit home view? Oh, no. That's not it. Okay. Turn around and read the chat. I'm reading so many things. So, I got it. And there's a delay. Okay. That's the Apple TV. Now we need the HomePod. Accessory details. Uh, we're going to put this room as living room. Use HomePod as Apple TV speaker. Aha! We got it. Use. Let's see what, what changes when I do that. Nothing. Is there a save or does it just remember? Hopefully it just remembers. Okay. Let's try that. Living room plus living room. There it is. All right. Why does this jump to Peacock? So it's hard to tell. Yeah, is it adjusting volume? Does it not provide a volume indicator when you're adjusting HomePod settings? Because that would be weird. I would rather have a volume so I know what it's at. Um, yes, I did the color calibration with my iPhone. The HomePod sound doesn't sync correctly, so don't bother. It's always out of sync with my HomePod mini. Oh, no! I hope that's bad. Just get actual speakers. Just get a house if you're homeless. It's that simple. <laughs> Big Ed! Is he back? Is Big Ed back? We need to watch more Big Ed. He's hilariously cringe. If you like cringe, you'll like 90 Day. One home pod is enough. It does get pretty dang loud. Okay, what I want to figure out is press and hold to switch everything off. Oh, that does turn the TV off all the way, which is a good sign. Um, is it worth buying the original home pod if I can find one? Seems overly priced now. I have two home pod minis hooked up, but doesn't sound as good. I don't know what they're going for right now but yeah don't don't pay three hundred dollars for one i would say original home pod i mean they, they still don't have bluetooth though which is pretty annoying so like if you can get one for under 200 i would say if you're looking for an airplay type thing might not be connected yet volume indicator for home pod shows up on the right side of the screen looks like iphone oh it does then why is it not okay i press power it goes to HDMI 1 and then launches the TV. Was that it? Is it already set up? Man, that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I thought I had to actually try, you know, to go into settings and figure out how to make this the only remote. So we can throw this out, right? Oh, I see it. You're right. The volume indicator. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Huh. What do I want to test this on? Apple event. No, I'm going to get copyright claimed. I'll probably get copyright claimed no matter what I pull up. Where's Fitness Plus? I want to select that so I can kill it. Oh, you can't? Other apps. That's. I'll just label that as the trash. Um, wait, it showed Peacock earlier. Where is Peacock? I don't even see Peacock here. Am I blind? Oh, this is through the Apple TV app. I see. You can. I forgot. You can connect uh, Peacock and other apps through it. What about? How about a refurbished HomePod? Again, it depends on the price. Like, don't spend three hundred dollars on a um, refurbished HomePod. But how cool is that? I gotta adjust the settings on this remote. It keeps thinking that I want to go to the TV app when I click the the home button. That's not what I want. Or maybe it is. I don't know. What do I want? I just want to jump to this home screen. Um, I don't remember. I could ask Siri to open it, but I don't have the app. No volume sync issues. I'm usually astonished at how well they sync. 
uh, the apple sheep that doesn't actually know anything. I know a couple things, but I'm constantly forgetting them. Um, you have to actually play content for the volume indicator to show up. Really? No? It's showing up and I'm not playing anything. Uh, we don't need the music app, so we can move that to... Oh, did it freeze? What the heck? Okay, that's going to be way too hard. I'm just going to say move to other apps. There's still some old games I have on here. Maybe I should try those. Wait, I thought they stopped supporting Minecraft. Do they still have it? Okay, Alto's Adventure is pretty great. I want to hear what it sounds like. <laughs> uh, I'm glad you don't have volume sync issues. You can change that in settings. I know, I know. I'm just busy. Uh, sure, I guess. Swipe from the right edge to enter Zen mode. I am. It's not working. It just goes to settings. Okay, let's just start. Ooh. Probably going to get claimed for this music, but I want to hear how it sounds. At least the refresh rate is pretty good, though. All right. Good enough for me. Let's find that setting, because I'm sick of launching the TV app every time. Uh, reset video settings. TV surround sound. Remotes. Uh, TV button launches the Apple TV app. No, that's more like it. Thank you. Uh, we don't need arcade, so we can move that to games. I was pleasantly surprised how easy it was to get the HomePod connected. Um, greetings from Belgium. Hey, Belgium Beats. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, Got to connect your Apple Watch speakers to the TV. That would be amazing surround sound. Um the white app with the black Apple logo, the Apple TV app? Uh, no, I think it's the Apple events. Am I wrong? Oh. <laughs> it's now part of the TV app. So I don't know why I still have that. <laughs> Did they just download it anyway? Uh, you might have to go to settings. I had to change that button. Oh, you know what we do need is Discovery Plus. It's not working. Discovery Plus. I don't know what you mean. Download Discovery Plus. There's nothing on the App Store called Discovery Plus? What? Why not? Isn't that going to be like in top five most downloaded apps? Why would... Okay, there's Paramount. It's right here. Siri, you're so dumb. And if I, I've already downloaded it. Ugh. How does Siri, how does Siri still not know these things? Um, is the Apple TV on the latest TVOS? How do you check? Does she know that? What version of TVOS are you running? <laughs> Two's company. What? Why did it bring that up? Big oof. Uh, delete the Apple Events app. They're all on the Apple TV app now. I kind of don't want to, though, because that means I have an exclusive icon that none of you can get because they've gotten rid of that off the App Store now, right? That makes me feel special. Okay, we got Discovery. We need Paramount as well, which I got to sign into. Okay, that has low ratings as well. So I'm curious if the service is still going to suck even when I watch it through tvOS. Um, it's Discovery Plus, not Discovery Plus. <laughs> you have to pronounce the plus icon. You can't say the word plus. I have that too. Oof. I have the events app. Okay, we have to keep it. <laughs> I assume... It would, I don't know why it wouldn't be on the latest version, right? I can probably just go to about model number 15.4.1. I don't know. 
it does not have 3D touch. In fact, there's no touch screen. It's not 120 hertz, throw it away. Uh, I kept bringing up the TV app by accident. Yeah, I don't know why that's the default. I don't like that. Siri has no clue. So is that the latest public release? 15.4, I think. Okay, let me see. I'm not sure what this is going to bring up, so I'm going to... I'm going to blur it for just a second. So let me see what happens when I launch YouTube. Do I get to sign in? Sign in with my phone. Oh, yeah. You can just be on the YouTube app on your phone and then say yes. Continue. Um, 15.5 is the... Dot one is the latest. Oh, so there's already an update ready. Will that sign me in? Okay, it did. Now I gotta choose one of my 18 channels. Huh. Let me scroll down to mine. Okay. NASA Space Flight is live, but I don't want to get copyright claimed. Can I look up myself? play Taylor Swift Tech on YouTube. No, it took that as Taylor Swift. <laughs> Siri still doesn't know my name. Um, I can do this, though. T-A-I-L-O-S-I-V-E space. <laughs> Taylor Swift space. T-E... Oh, it erased it. Hold on. Oh, it's in the search results right there. We can watch myself on the TV. We can watch this very live stream on the TV. Okay, we have to do that. That's just too cool. Oh, this is trippy. <laughs> we can watch myself. Wow, the audio is terrible. Ooh. Okay, I posted the video and uh, a lot of people agree with me. The iPhone 14 is pretty boring. Jeez, maybe I should start talking about Android phones again. It sounds pretty good. I'm not used to the TV hitting frequencies that low. Okay. I don't notice much latency though. Now you need to copyright strike yourself. I should do that. <laughs> now I can do that. Do you still watch Pluto TV? Uh, not very often, but I think occasionally. Taylor Swift tech. <laughs> Stream yourself, Steve. Streaming. Do I use an IPTV service? I don't think so. Let's just watch Spaceballs. Or, you know what I could do is uh, go into settings and update it since it's not. Whoa, too loud. Try the uh, software update. Um, let's find it. Manage storage? No. Scroll down. Is it system? Yep. Software updates. Update software. Download and install. Yep. There's a new version. 15.4.1 is what it came with out of the box. So, in case you're curious. Now, you know. You need a Plex server. I disagree. I think you only need food, water, shelter, and maybe love. But not a Plex server. That's my guess. I could be wrong. Um, stock test footage videos? I guess I could, but I think, yeah, one minute remaining. It's going to start updating now. I couldn't tell. I noticed, like, just a tiny bit of reverb, so I wasn't sure if the TV speakers are playing with the HomePod, but that's probably in settings since it's updating anyway. I got to just wait. Um, let's see. When are you, Nick and Randy, doing another podcast together? We're trying. We're trying. Everyone has different schedules, and everyone's got jobs, and uh, we're trying to get everybody's schedules aligned, which is fairly difficult. But they're always welcome. Um, they're always welcome on the show. Randy, we locked in for sure. Nick is busy with Starbase stuff, so it's, it's kind of hard to... Uh, yes, there's an update. It's updating right now. Step one of two. Do not unplug your Apple TV. <laughs> Guess what I'm going to do. Um... I was actually hoping there was going to be more settings, though. I thought, like, I was going to have to go into my Roku and teach it this new remote. But, no, I just I just 
it it just works. It turns on and it turns the TV off and everything. Adulting is hard. That's true. Your Siri remote looks to be set to control your TV volume, probably. But I didn't see the uh, I didn't see the TV volume indicator pop up. <laughs> I know that guy on the TV. He has the worst iPad takes. <laughs> I think you mean worst, Jeff. Uh, do you already have your Model Three? No, trust me, you will know. Uh, you'll have to pull me away from the Model Three when it gets here. Um, my Vizio E43 E2 is getting slower by the year. I'll have to buy the Apple TV 4K soon. They're probably going to release a new one in a couple months. That was one thing I was a little hesitant about with this, but I was like, you know, it's probably not going to be as great as I think. Like, best case scenario, it's a dongle, and it's, I mean, I would like it to be $100, but let's be honest, it's Apple, and there's a lot of inflation going on. It's probably not going to be $100. And the big upgrade is, and it's probably not even going to be a dongle. It, it might be a, bit, a little bit cheaper than the current one is, but it's probably still just going to be, instead of an A12 chip, now it's an A14 chip. And that allows it to play arcade games a little be better. So, yeah. Are you going to use the Apple TV as a HomeKit hub for smart home devices? I used to have smart home devices, but they just stopped supporting them. I bought one from a company that went under, and now I can't even set up this, the accessory anymore because I changed Wi-Fi networks and now it just doesn't work. Um, so that was annoying and I do have a couple smart bulbs, but you have to download their app and try to sync it with the home kit app and it doesn't, it's not worth it. I'd rather just turn them on with a switch. Um, yeah, USB-C on the Apple TV remote. Now that would be great. I wish they would do that. Um, I'll be live streaming from the model three for months, probably forever. I think that'll just become my office. Honestly, they still sell the HD. But it's, yeah, it's not $100, though. Wait until Matter comes out to do anything with smart home. After all of my frustrations with trying to get a smart home working and trying to get certain accessories communicating with your router and trying to get those communicating with HomeKit, I'm, I'm not buying any more until Apple makes them. If Apple makes a smart switch or a smart thermostat, I'll buy one, but not from a third party. I'm, I'm done with all that. Apple needs to come up with a way to streamline the setup process and the syncing over Wi-Fi and all that. It's just, I'm done with it. It's not that useful anyway. Thermostat isn't going to be that useful in a house like this. Would I prefer MagSafe? Can you even do MagSafe? MagSafe would be like, oh no, this is sticky. MagSafe would be like this big and trying to charge it like that. I don't know. Maybe if it worked, if there was a way to ensure it worked, but is the AirPods case about as wide as the remote? Uh, no, I think a. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. I think it's a little bit wider. I have one here. Well, that TV's updating. Just follow me. You can walk back to the office with me. See, it's blurred out, but. It's, it's the office sign. Okay. And here we have the uh, HomePods. I mean, sorry, AirPods. And we can compare them to the Siri remote. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's a little bit wider. So it's already kind of a stretch to have Qi charging on this thing. You got to get it lined up just right. With this, it would be a little bit hard. Matter is supposed to fix all those problems, luckily. Well, I don't believe it because they've been talking about... I remember talk, doing a video on Matter in 2020. And we're like halfway through 2022 now and it's still not there. I should probably package some of this up. That could be thermostat works well with HomeKit. Truth is, we don't really use the thermostat very much because our house doesn't have central heating in there. Um, so it's not really worth it anyway for... At least while we're living here. But thank you to our channel members for supporting. You're helping me save up for hopefully a better house someday. <laughs> Could justify having a thermostat. Um, we bought this house as a starter home, and it works well for us. Um, but I don't know if it's forever home material. Could be. Did you use your phone to calibrate it? Yes, I did, and the TV said it's, it's fine. It doesn't need to be calibrated. Now it says it's applying the update, so... We got to keep waiting before I can boot it up again. But I hope I don't have to use this anymore. That would be great. 
Two is about the same as pro, but different orientation. Yeah, they're pretty close, but not not exactly. All right. Um, that can be cleaned up. We don't need this anymore because I'm done cutting things. Uh, Scott just said, Ekaby sucks. Ask Nick his story on that one. Oh, that's right. I think he was the one who shared that story, but I can't keep track. All the smart home stuff always sounds great and then there's some update that breaks everything and then you get a different internet provider and you have to factory reset everything are you going to display the apple tv box i don't know i'm not sure where it should go i'll display it now check if my home pod is up to date oh good question it's been unplugged for a long time so it probably isn't i wouldn't be shocked uh open it up here accessory details Go to settings, accessibility. Where's software? What version? Where do you check HomePod for software updates? Oh, reduce base? No, don't turn that on. Um, accessibility? No. Analytics and improvements. Oh, version number. It's on, the HomePod is on 15.5.1. Is that the latest? For for Waz Play Games says, do you read comments? No. Do you think the only upgrade to the Apple TV will be the A14 chip? Knowing app, how Apple is right now, especially how they're cutting so many corners. Oh, the Roku is like nothing done. Can I control this? No, it's too late. It's already booted up. Um, knowing how Apple is cutting corners with the Nans in the MacBook Pro and the MacBook Air, and how there's a chip shortage and everything. I bet the new Apple TV coming later in the year is probably going to be fairly disappointing. It's going to be like, okay, we got rid of the Apple TV HD. We replace it with the new, what is it, fifth or fourth? We, we, pre we replace it with the new generation uh, Apple TV 4K. So it'll still be called the 4K. I don't think they'll call it the 8K or anything. It'll have the A14 chip in it. And it'll now start at 150 bucks instead of 180 bucks. Because Ming-Chi Kuo, all he really said about the new Apple TV is that it would, um, it would improve the pricing structure. And a lot of people are like, oh, hopefully they'll do a stick. Hopefully they'll do a dongle. And I, I still hope for that as well. I hope I'm wrong. But um, my answer now has, has changed a little bit because now I'm like, well, seeing how they're cutting corners with MacBooks, the Apple TV is even cheaper than that. And... You know, they just kind of resigned, re redesigned the Siri remote. Maybe there's some tweaks they'll make to it soon, but I don't expect it to be as massive of an upgrade as a lot of people want it to be. Um, I didn't like the Apple TV box. I always loved the remote. Uh, and my friend was, but our Roku was acting up. And the reason I saw no need to keep the Apple TV back when I reviewed it was I was like, well, the Roku is working fine. That gets the job done. And while I really love this remote, it's not worth $180. And now they're on sale. Now you can get them for much, much cheaper. And uh, my friend was picking up one because he wanted to try it. And he said, hey, if you, if, if you want to try it to see if it can fix your Roku's problems, then I'll pick one up for you. So thank you, Mike. Shout out to Mike for making this possible. Early birthday slash late birthday present. Um, and he said, you know, just go ahead, set it up and see how it works. So... Thank you to uh, Model Y Mike. It is done. Let me see if I can... Oh, but the TV remote's not working. Is it frozen? You guys told me to update the firmware. Oh, now it says connected. Okay. The TV took a second. Um, let me mess with audio. Output. TV speakers is unchecked. Can you check both? Audio return channel. Play television. Huh. Wow, it really takes a second to connect to the TV speaker. Well, I wanted to play from the HomePod. Um, imagine if they could merge an Apple Airport Extreme with the Apple TV. <gasps> I would love that. Except a lot of people probably don't route their Wi-Fi to where their TV is. But that could just be wishful thinking on my part. Okay, let me listen to myself again. I need to get more judgmental with my uh, sound quality. Come on, YouTube, I'm searching. 
nothing matters. Let me let me listen to myself for a minute here. I just need to hear me. I want to judge my audio. Yeah. Ew, Andrew, true. Why would you even say that? We are so embedded in the Apple ecosystem. Why, why the okay. heck would you want to talk? I don't know what it was doing before, but I don't hear it anymore. It sounds really good now. Oh, hey, thank you for the super chat, Ben. What app do you use for masking a photo? I don't have Photoshop. Um, there's probably a better one, but I currently use GoDaddy Studio. Also, I use iOS 16 Subject Lift, which is really effective uh, and impressive. I guess I can turn this off. Sorry, I forgot it was on. Um, if you have GoDaddy Studio, which is a free app, and you're making a picture in there, it's really easy to lift things out of it. So, like, here's me on an exercise bike, and if I just hold myself down, woo, it lifts the whole picture. And hold on, let me make an example. I'll go to GoDaddy Studio. Here's the thumbnail for this live stream, by the way, which I made in the app. I don't like the name. It used to be called Over, and I preferred when the app was called Over. Now it's called GoDaddy Studio, which sounds weird. But okay, there's a subject like me. Hold it down. Go to multitasking. Switch to GoDaddy. Drop the picture in. Boom. Drew is writing the Apple TV. <laughs> that can be the thumbnail now. Okay, uh, the mute button works. Good. The volume indicator works. Uh, the home button takes me home. The power button turns it off. Dictation works, which is great. Uh, let's make a harder one. I want to make it... I don't know if this is possible, but I want to see if I can teach this remote to the TCL TV so that if on the very rarest of occasions I wanted to change HDMI inputs, I could... I could use this. I could use the Siri remote and not this one. Let me just see. Oh, I'm clicking it, but okay. Yeah, the Roku doesn't know this one yet. Let me go to settings. So we're not on tvOS anymore. Remotes and devices. Set up a new device. Uh, remote. Yeah. Can you y'all see this? Maybe I should move this closer. Um. Pixelmator is clean. I've heard good things about Pixelmator, but I, I don't think it's free. Is there a way to change inputs to the Apple TV? That's what I'm going to find out. Some people earlier were saying you can't do it, and my memory could be terribly wrong, but I think you can. I think there's a way. So if there's a Drew, if there's an Apple Sheep will, there's an Apple Sheep way. Let's, let's give this a, a good, honest try so that we can give up at the end. You can just push the TV button on the remote and then the input changes on your TV back to the Apple TV. Well, I know I can do that, but I don't want to do that. I want to figure out, like, for, for whatever reason, I don't know, maybe someone comes over with their laptop and they want to HDMI plug into the TV. I don't know what the reason is. Maybe I want to go into picture settings on the TCL for some reason. Can I still use this and not this? Um, so I'm going to try. Continue. Press and hold the pairing button on the back of the remote for five seconds. There's no pairing button. Your remote may look different. Press start. No. Exit setup. Yeah. Wait. I want a different remote. No, those are the only options. It has to be a. Can you only control it with the Roku? TV inputs. Uh, oh, airplane. Stream from your Apple device. I guess I could control it from my iPhone, to be fair. You need a HomeKit enabled TV to change it. This is HomeKit enabled. Maybe that's the trick. Uh, enable fast TV start on this TV. Setting system power for the best experience when using Apple AirPlay. Where it's settings, system, power. Where is it? Did I pass it there? Um, fast TV start. Oh, it's already enabled. That's why. Huh. Okay. I want to use this, though. That's, that's all I'm asking. Guest mode. Huh. There was nothing to talk about. Today, there's something to talk about. That's true. If you push the TV button on the TV is off, the TV will turn on and change to the Apple. I'm not trying to check. Oh, my God. How, 
How many ways do I have to explain this? I'm not trying to switch to the TV input. I know I can do that easily. Um, what I'm trying to do is something else. Maybe I should listen to this. Wait a this this remote doesn't even have that. Your remote may look different than the picture. Yeah. The pairing button. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, put batteries in the remote, press and hold the pairing button. No, that's not going to work. It has to, like, find it. Interesting. Built in, then you can ask Siri to switch to whatever input you want. Really? Are you sure that works? Yes, the Apple TV is on the ARC port. No, no. Oh, my God. I can't believe how many of you are missing my goal. I'm not trying to switch to HDMI 1. I'm trying to see if I could control this menu with this. That's, that's what I'm trying to do. And I thought I remember doing a, a, a teach your TV a remote thing. Something to do with CEC. The only thing I did, use the Roku Apple on my phone to change the inputs. I guess I could always do that. I would usually have my iPhone with me. Are there TVs with HomeKit built in? Yes, this one's been compatible with HomeKit for years. Uh, and I can access it. I can control it from Control Center in my phone and stuff. But I was really hoping I could completely eliminate this. But Apple AirPlay and HomeKit. Is it just a pop-up? That's it? There's no, like, settings. It's just AirPlay. Okay, I don't care about that. <laughs> it just plays the word AirPlay. Control the TV with the Apple TV remote. See? I can't. Um, Roku is stupid. You can't use the Siri remote buttons to control Roku. That's what I wanted to do. Don't tell me what I can't do. I want to figure this out. Uh... Home control, home screen. I gotta read through every menu. System. Control other devices. Press. System set. One touch play. Huh. I'm just making sure we're on the same. There's a remote devices menu. Yes, we tried that one. That did not help. Advanced! Oh my god. Factory reset. Controlled by mobile apps. Well, that kind of works. Kind of does the thing. USB media. About. That's my name. Software update. Streaming. Well, I guess I might just have to take the L on that one then. That's okay. I can't I can't find any other menus, but go to Apple TV setting. You can set what you want your remote to control. Oh, maybe it is through TVOS. Hold on. You might have a you might be onto something there. Okay. Ooh. This is still HomePod control. I love that volume indicator. Set it up on Apple TV. Yeah. Hold on. Learn remote. This is it. If you don't use a single device remote, select an unused device setting on your other remote before you start. Then select the setting. Okay. Press. This is it. This is what I was talking about. I Maybe I was accessing it from the wrong place. Press and hold the up. So you teach... Okay, here it is. You teach the Apple TV the infrared signal from this remote, and then it will teach that to this remote. Or I'm an idiot and I have no idea what I'm doing. Both are possible. Okay. Up. Down. The fitness gram pacer test is a multi-stage capacity. Left. Right. Uh, select, uh, press and hold the menu button. Uh, I think that's this one. 
No! <laughs> it broke it. I knew that would happen. Did it learn it, though? Like, pay attention. Yeah, it did. Okay. Uh, TV control center button. TV control center. Is that home? Press menu. Uh, okay. Please learn it. Please learn it. Okay. The Apple TV is teaching you how to use the Apple TV remote. <laughs> I think... Ooh! B! <laughs> Enter a name for this remote. Now I can control the Apple TV with this one. Interesting. But this one too. Okay. Go away, pop up. Nah! It's not what I wanted. Go back. It's for third party IR remotes. You're learning the Roku remote, not the Apple TV remote. Listen. Y'all listen to me. <laughs> Learned remote. Did it just completely ax it? Where'd it go? That's my phone. Got it. There's my AirPods. Oh, that's nice. Um, control TVs and receivers. Volume control auto. Did it just completely set up basic buttons? Wait, what? Remote learning. Is that this? Okay, so it learned it. Because this works, obviously. You need an input up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. Uh, I tried to disconnect my Apple TV remote while the TV was off. I think it worked because now I can turn it on even with my phone. Don't know what to do. Interesting. Sorry, did I read the last super chat? I'm trying to remember. Oh, yeah, we talked about that. I wouldn't read the IR from the remote. Interesting. So... Obviously, this this still doesn't. Well, it makes noises. It doesn't work. Um, this is so confusing. No, I didn't click. Oh, I guess it thought I clicked the Apple events app. Uh, I can move this to other. So I taught the TV. Control. Touch. TV button home screen. Okay. Bluetooth. We already learned one remote. Volume control. Okay. Well, I may have not done exactly what I wanted, but it's pretty smart. The fact that I didn't have to do anything for it to... I can... Hold it down to power off the entire TV. So that that feature works, which is crucial. That means, okay, while I may need this if I access other HDMI inputs, as you can tell, I do not have any other consoles. Um, what I need, what I should do now, since my wife isn't home yet, is try to pretty this up a little more. And hopefully she'll like my cable management skills. Um, what specific TV do you have, Drew? It's a 55-inch 4K TCL Roku TV, which we're now going to ignore. That's the goal. Um, we're going to throw this in the garbage and try to pretty this up a little bit. i got to move you out a little. We are at 31% battery after an hour of live streaming, and I wasn't even very highly charged when we started. Turn on volume to 100%, so when the Apple TV volume is at 100, it's actually at the max volume. But it's not playing out of the TV. It's just playing out of the HomePod, I'm pretty sure. Um, control TV and receivers make the Apple TV control the TV and other audio outputs with the Siri remote. What? Don't play with me, man. Is that true? 
So I press power, it'll say HDMI arc, and then it'll jump to TV list. Yeah, there's not really a way to access the Roku settings from here, is there? Oh, multitasking, yeah! I forgot how great it is to have multitasking. You don't have that on the Roku. Um, you can change inputs on home app or using Siri. HDMI 2. No. HDMI 3. Change to HDMI 2. <laughs> you have to search the App Store for that. In a video yesterday, you said the embargo for the MacBook Air lifts tomorrow, but I'm wondering, how did you know when the embargo would lift? What can I say? I'm a wizard. <laughs> I think HDR looks like overblown contrast and crushing blacks. There, the problem is HDR does not mean one thing. There's like 500 different versions of HDR and no one has agreed on one standard. So this technically has HDR, but it, it's not super noticeable when it's on. So my guess is that this has a very basic, very crappy version of HDR. I think what Ryan called it was HDR 400 or something. And um, that's probably what it is. So saying something has HDR means like nothing because it could be 400 different things. It, it depends on the certification and all that crap. Okay, let me not step on my new Siri remote because that's awesome. Um, cheap TVs have crap HDR. But again, I, I'm not a big fan of high dynamic range anyway. The whole reason humans don't like a... The whole reason humans wear sunglasses is because we don't like high dynamic range. I notice it on my phone. My phone has... Super Retina XDR, and when you play HDR content, the nits boost to like 1200, and I hate it. It's super annoying. And I've looked at HDR TVs that get way too bright for me, and I'm like, this is this is way brighter than it needs needs to be. It's not more immersive. I don't feel like I'm getting more out of the content. It's just like overly bright. Oftentimes when I'm at someone else's house and they have like one of those super bright HDR TVs, I'm like, can you turn it down, please? I I. I think low dynamic range is underrated. I've watched some amazing movies and TV shows on this thing, and it has very bad HDR. <laughs> and I had a great time. I was not miserable. Okay, let me put this down here, because it's ugly. We'll try to arrange this in a nice way. I don't know, does it need, does the Apple TV need line of sight? And then we can, this cable way over here. I need to tie it to this. I need one of those ties. Oh, there's already a tie back here. That's good. I'm gonna make it fall off the wall now. That would be funny. Oh yeah, it's just sitting. Hold on. I'm decorating. Give me a minute. Okay. I think that's where I want it. I gotta tie these together. I gotta tie the knot like that. Okay. I need this back. What do you guys think? Should the home pod go down here or should it stay up here? We gotta it has to be centered. Like so, right down the middle. Um, is there a way to ensure that the HomePod is like optimized for the room? Standard dynamic range, yeah. Some of the best movies. If you ask, go ask your parents what their favorite movies are. I guarantee you none of them were filmed in HDR. <laughs> Citizen Kane, Star Wars, the old ones. Uh, they're probably going to say, you know, some movie from the 80s they really liked, or Indiana Jones. Those are not HDR, and they all watched them in low dynamic range. Um, welcome to Talos of Home Decor. Doesn't that look pretty? Just got to get these cables to stay together. 
There's no way around that, unfortunately. Let me see if I can still control it. Yeah, okay, it still works. Even if I'm pointing at the ceiling, it doesn't seem to need line of sight. Wait for your wife to get home to do the cord management. I know, I just need to show effort. I need to show her that I tried. <laughs> Look, honey, I made an attempt. HDR doesn't mean more brightness. Well, that's how a lot of them seem to think it is. Because the only way to play HDR content on a lot of TVs is to boost the nits to 1,000 or 1,200. And then I'm like, oh my god, it's too bright. Um, you go into HomeKit and it'll run a test for your room. All right. Go into HomeKit. Drew says, stay up there. Aw. I'm up. You know what I love about iOS 16? There's a version of the uh, lock screen, all the different lock screen choices. One of them is a, a shuffle. So as the day goes on, it'll shuffle between different pictures. So my lock screen is like always changing. And um, it's always picking nice pictures of my wife or of a nice view or th that we saw on a trip or something, which I love. Because it's like... it. I like to update my wallpaper pretty frequently just so that I feel like my phone is different, you know, it doesn't, it's not the same for too much of the time. And now it's automatically changing on its own and I'm like, oh, that's a nice picture. I remember that trip. It's just randomly pleasant. Anyway, Karen super chatted, tell me, how did you know? No wizard excuses. Well, I could tell you, but then Apple would have to kill me because... <laughs> I'm not allowed to tell you that Marquez had MacBook Air review embargo labeled in his calendar app on the Asus ROG phone review. I'm not allowed to tell you that. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry, but I appreciate the super chat. The remote is Bluetooth. You can hide the box. Oh, we can really hide it. Let me make it so she doesn't even know it's there. I'll, I'll just say, I, honey, the Roku got a software update. It's way better now. I could, well, she'll notice the HomePod, but I could basically tell her, like, honey. <laughs> the HomePod can connect to the TV, and I got a new remote in the mail. So the Roku is much better now, right? YouTube. And it's still running in the background. Talk about Android right now. Well, because we have nothing to talk about. Okay, let's optimize it for the room again. If you like iOS 16, I'm sure you'll like iPadOS 17. No, I won't because I'm not going to have an iPad. But I, I'm, I haven't used my iPad in over a month. Uh, best ATV video settings set output to 4K SDR and set match content on match frame rate on. Less bright menu and 4K HDR only on content made for it. Oh, interesting. Good to see you finally giving a shot to the Apple TV. It's far better than the Roku Fire TV. I think the biggest issue, I, I never, if you go back and watch my reviews and videos, I never had an issue with tvOS. tvOS and the new Siri remote, I did a video on this about how much I love it when it came out last year. This one is so much better than the last one. I don't have any problem with tvOS. It's very clean, it's very fluid, and it's very responsive compared to the Roku or the Fire TV. But my only issue was the price. It's like, yeah, tvOS is, is clean and, and nice looking and all that. Um, all I see for setting up a remote for your TV is home settings, remote device. Yeah, we tried that. It doesn't let me connect this. It only lets me connect another Roku, unfortunately. But I am protesting my iPad, but I also just don't need it. Like the, My phone has a very big screen. And uh, my wife is the same way. It's not just me protesting. Like, I, my wife has my 2017 iPad Pro. She bought it from me before we were married. So it's kind of a big brain move, you know, buy the iPad, marry the guy. <laughs> but no, she, uh, she's had it for over three and a half years. And um, she just doesn't use it. She prefers using her iPhone SE. Even though the screen's smaller and it's not 120 hertz and the battery's worse, she just... She prefers having a device she can hold in her hand. Thank you for the super chat, Karen. How did you see MKBHD's calendar? Do you hang out with him often? Does he share his calendar with you? He shares his calendar with millions of people in his videos. If you just watch the Asus ROG phone video, you'll see. There's a little calendar event in there, and it says MacBook Air embargo, July 14th. TVOS has the best interface. I just Yeah, it's clean and everything. I just don't think it's worth $180 just so that you can have a clean UI. That's a big expense. And I don't like having the little TV box sitting somewhere. 
I hear noises. Hello? Am I being robbed? Can you take the iPad if you're robbing me? I don't want that. You can have both of them, actually. I have two iPad Pro. Okay. They're not responding. Buy that woman an iPhone 13. I don't know how it is in your marriage, but in our marriage, we have shared finances. So me buying her something is basically the equivalent of her buying herself something. And trust me, I have tried. Tr I have tried and tried. Do you want an iPhone 10R? They're on sale. Do you want an iPhone 12? Do you want that? She's like, nope, don't care. Don't want it. Not interested. Bob, thank you for the super chat. Your zip code reveal. <gasps> oh, no. That really narrows it down. Actually, I was looking at the zip code, and it's not even correct. <laughs> I don't know why it has the old one. I think that was my old zip code, but it's not... It's not where I'm currently located, unfortunately. Mike has been discovered in the kitchen. Louise is not home. I'm home alone right now. But thank you for the super chat, Bob. Um, I don't see much need for an iPad specifically either. Usually have to think of use cases for my iPad. I feel like I was using my iPad when my iPhone was busy with something. So the, the same goal of the iPad could be achieved with just having a second phone. Um, but I was mostly using my iPad for video thumbnail creation. That was it, because I like the Apple Pencil for masking out objects. But now that I can mask objects out myself using iOS 16 Subject Lift in the GoDaddy Studio, I've been doing all of my thumbnails ever since I got iOS 16 straight off the phone. And they look fine. They look great, and they get the job done. So I do all of my thumbnails on the phone now. And if I'm using Twitter, it's easy for me to just swipe back and forth between Twitter and the Discord app instead of having split screen. Why do you not know that? Because I don't notice. I don't care. I, I mean, I kind of notice, but for an LCD panel, this one looks surprisingly good. I, I have the window open right now so that you can see me better and the lighting is better, but normally the window, the drapes are drawn and it's less reflective. Um, OLED is good, but it's getting steep competition for mini LED. Yeah, I just... We've had this TV for years. It's fine, and we mounted it to the wall, and if I got another TV, I would have to find a place for this one and then mount the OLED TV to the wall. It's not worth it. Just so that the blacks could be a little bit deeper. I don't know. Uh, to get enhanced definition, you need a component cable mail to mail. That's the red, blue, and green for audio if you're old school red and white cable. What? People don't use those anymore, do they? If you got one, you'd never look back. Yeah, I'm not looking back now because I, I, I'm happy with the TV I have. What did he say earlier? Is it best to do... Uh... Oh, wait. I was going to do the home kit test thing. Let me find it. Home app. Um... Where's the... Intercom on? I never use the intercom thing. How do you test... Optimize the HomePod? I'm in the settings for it. Analytics and improvements, analytics data, don't need that. Um, accessibility, huh, you get what you pay for. I'm very happy with what I paid for. This was, this was like under $400 four years ago and it still looks pretty good to me. Um, OLED isn't ideal for a bright room, there you go. Even more reason to not upgrade my TV. Um, Let's see. I bought an Apple TV 4K 2017 one and the new Siri remote for 80 bucks on eBay. Very happy with it. Good for you. That's awesome. Uh, I'm happy you're happy with it. Uh, once you go OLED. I've been to, I go to friends' houses that have OLED TVs. I'm not like, oh, it looks so, it's not like I've never seen an OLED TV. I've just, I go to it and I'm like, yeah, I notice it. And then I go back to this and it's, it's fine. Can you guys tell a big difference between where the display is and where the bezel ends? Not on this side, but like when the when the drapes are drawn and it's darker in here. I can't find the option to like what is what is the term? Equalize. Equalize the home pod, like optimize its environment where it like plays a sound and listens to what's around it. Status. Yeah, I don't see it. Maybe that's not a thing. Maybe it just when it plays audio, it automatically hears it. Um, I'm surprised a tech-savvy person like you would have such an average TV. I'm in favor of people... If you can live with more average hardware, you save money. Like, if I... Let's say I was a stickler. What if I... 
uh, what if I looked at a OLED TV at the store today and I was like, oh my God, it looks so good. I can't live without it. So I dropped a thousand dollars. Am I ahead in life than some guy that doesn't have that reaction? No. In fact, the guy who doesn't have that reaction and says, no, my old LCD TV is fine. That guy has a $1,000 advantage on me. He can live with less and he can be happy with less. He doesn't have to spend as much money. It's almost like, uh, I, ha I hate having this problem with 120 Hertz. If I, if I didn't love 120 Hertz so much, then I wouldn't have to buy a phone that costs this much. I could have bought a much cheaper phone with 60. I would have just kept using my iPhone 12 mini with 60 Hertz. I could have just kept that and I would have saved myself a whole lot of money um, by not upgrading. And I could use that money towards other things, investments or stock or a better house or, you know. There's so many advantages by not being a stickler for little details. You just got to pick your battles and unfortunately I can't I can't lie I really appreciate 120 Hertz and I really notice 60 Hertz I can't say the same thing about LCD versus OLED I, I don't notice um, I'm very happy with it uh, viewing angle and black levels are very different between the two panel type I'm sure there's all kinds of differences I just I can assure you I don't notice or care I promise if you're using your HomePod as a TV speaker, you might want to turn off Listen to Hello Siri. The always-on mics can cause the top to get hot. Ooh, that's a good idea. I think I can do that. I know where that setting is. Um, listen for Siri. Light when using Siri. Okay. I don't really need that. Um, personal requests are off. Let's see. Pick it up and put it down. That makes it check its surroundings. Well, I already did that to put it where it is, but okay. You want me to do it again? Let me just listen to myself again. I want to hear it. I want to sit on the couch so I get the proper viewing experience. I can put this knife away as well because we're done unboxing things. I want to be in my natural habitat here. Long day of looking at computer screens for work. Now I just want to sit down and look at another computer screen to relax. Ah, something like this. And uh, talk about. Oh, this is the quiet part of the video. Oh, man. We got to skip the skit, right? Because the skits are really cringe and we don't want to watch those. So. Whoa. The bass. Whoa. Oh my god. There I, will be more puns. Let's begin. I forgot how good the HomePod is. That's See, incredible. This company has gone viral in many ways. It's got a lot of attention, even to the point that it's pulling me out of Apple Room. Wow. That frequency was low. Oh my goodness. You don't have to buy it anyway. Your ability to see 120 hertz, you can live without 120 hertz. You choose not to. I know, but I, I can live. But I don't... I don't want to live. <laughs> I don't want to live without 120 hertz. It's, uh, it looks too good. I'm sorry. Do it while audio is playing. I don't know. It sounds pretty good already. I'm not sure it needs to be calibrated. Um, I want to listen to a song on it or something. I just, I'm worried about getting copyright claim. I guess I could mute the stream for a second, but that would be kind of boring for you guy. Watching Drew watch TV. Best stream ever. Uh, you can run those in stereo and Dolby Atmos and it sounds sick. Ooh, that sounds fun. Um, let me go to settings here. Someone mentioned earlier that the best one wasn't HDR. It was 4K SDR at 60 hertz. Let me try that and see if it looks better. Ooh. I think it does. Yeah, I think it does boost the brightness a little bit. Why is that a thing? <laughs> I'm sure it's because my TV is crappy. And uh, if you're an HDR stickler, you would probably hate my setup. But I turned on the 4K SDR mode, and I think the screen looks better. It's probably because when I turn on HDR, the TV is trying to balance everything. And it brings the brightness down to try to bring balance. That's one thing I've noticed is that whenever HDR content plays on the TV, it looks very dark. It looks much, much darker. Um, whereas when it's standard, it doesn't, it doesn't look bad. 
let's see. TCL TVs are great. Got a couple here. Able to airplay and hijack it for YouTube. Great value. I think for something that's four years old. The only downside of this TV was the Roku itself. The Roku was pretty laggy. And uh, it used to run better, but now it's struggling to play a lot of apps. You know what? I'm going to keep it muted because I don't want you guys to have to hear <laughs> uh, Discovery Plus content or whatever. Ask app not to track. Yeah, screw you. Um, Thelesium, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but thank you for the super chat. If we have to have an Apple console box sitting on our entertainment centers, it needs to do more. Better GPU, 120 hertz controller, and buy Sega. Yeah, just buy Sega real quick. I'm sure that's really cheap and affordable. Um, yeah, no, I don't think... Again, HDMI 2.1, which is what the Apple TV has, that can do 4K at 120. Uh, so there, if it's not doing that now, it's either because your TV doesn't do it or more likely tvOS is not supporting 120 hertz yet. Oh yeah, I could pull up a Randy song. That's a good point. How's the latency with the HomePod? I feel like there's a more noticeable amount when I use my AirPods. Well, I haven't started using AirPods with it, but let me just pay attention to the latency when I watch my own video. Yeah, I do not see any latency at all. It's it, It's not noticeable if there is latency, but... Um, or maybe, yeah, you need an HDMI cable that can support 4K at 120 hertz, but thank you for the super chat, um, Delizium. that was nice of you. Yeah, like I've said before, and I'll say it again, if, if something made by Apple does not have the games you want, that's on the game devs, it is not on Apple. However, sure, you, you know, you probably couldn't run, uh, Elden Ring on the A12 chip, <laughs> But uh, even even if they gave the Apple TV the M1 Max chip, I don't think they're going to put Elden Ring on it because they know that the addressable market is not that big. Neon Sunrise should sound good with HomePod. Let me see if she can get that. Play Neon Sunrise on YouTube. Well, it searches it. And it brought up a song. But I don't think it's a Randy song. Play Randy Vasquez on YouTube. No, it found <laughs> it found a baseball player. Oh, there's Randy. He probably won't copyright claim me, right? So twenty twenty two just started. <laughs> <laughs> Going all investing all on tech. Let me find one of his actual music videos. The Ring Planet. Ooh, Randy, it sounds good. I think the Apple TV can run Elden Ring with cloud gaming. Now it bumps up against uh, tvOS support. I watch your travel blogs on my LG OLED in standard dynamic range, and it looks a lot better than some HDR that I've seen. It makes the screen brighter, and it's in standard dynamic range. <laughs> Isn't that funny? There's like, the problem is, I think I might like HDR more if they could agree on one standard. If they could just say like, this is HDR, that's it. But they can't. Like the iPhones have a certain kind. And I think the Pro Display has a different HDR certification than the iPhones do. And then all the TVs have like 30 different kinds of HDR. So you don't really know what you're getting. And with a TV like mine, it actually looks better when you turn HDR off. Um, and it's the same thing when I record video on my phone. If I record it in HDR, it takes up way more space. And when I play the video, it just boosts the brightness. I don't feel like I'm getting more out of it. It's not like, oh, this is so bright and this is so dark. It's like, no, it's just, it feels brighter for no reason. And if I airdrop that to a device that doesn't have an HDR display, then it looks like crap. So I just turned off uh, Dolby Vision. or whatever. I just turned off HDR recording on my video. Um, for on my iPhone camera, um, Samsung TVs already run God of War out of the box. <laughs> really? That's funny. Imagine if Apple partnered with TV makers and supplied them with Apple Silicon and TVOS. You could buy TVs with an Apple TV built in. I know. I've been advocating for this for years. I don't know why they don't do it. Maybe it would be absurdly expensive. You know, the biggest monitor Apple's ever made is 32 inches, and that's six thousand dollars. So. Maybe if they did a 60-inch or 80-inch TV, it would be $40,000. Uh, 
No, my TV does not have Dolby Vision, but my iPhone can record in Dolby Vision. I just choose not to because I don't think it looks that good. I think the standard dynamic range looks better. Um, let me hear this again. Man, I love the clickiness of this remote. It sounds great. Feels good, too, in the hand. It is a standard. The only difference is the bright spots are brighter slash darker on a higher or lower certification, but that's it. You can describe it however you want. At just the fundamental level, if I play an HDR video on my phone and I hold it up to my wife, she goes, oh, it's too bright. Like, lower your brightness. And even if my brightness is low and I start playing HDR, it boosts the brightness way up. And that annoys her and it annoys me. So I turned it off. Um, should I buy the new remote? I mean, it's up to you what you prefer and what you think is better. I think this is the best one they've ever made. It's got the voice dictation. It's got the mute button. It's got a power button. So I can just completely ditch the Roku remote now unless I need to switch inputs, which I don't because I don't have an Xbox or anything else. The Apple TV is powering the whole thing. And um, it feels it's much easier to find when you're watching a movie in the dark and stuff. I wonder... Is that, there's like a tiny, tiny, I don't know if you guys can see it. No, nah, it doesn't really even show up on the webcam. So it looks pretty clean, but there's like a tiny, tiny little scratch that I wonder if I caused that when I took it out of the box or if that came it like that out of the box. But I'm trying to show it to you and it's, it's right here. Very minor, but honestly, I can't. I, I don't even know if I did that or I don't care. It's aluminum. It's going to do that regardless. Return the whole thing. There'd be more than just throwing an Apple chip into a TV since the Apple TV has hardware that supports direct cast without requiring Wi-Fi and Apple isn't likely to license that protocol out. If they're willing to put CarPlay in all these cars on the market, I don't understand why tvOS is such a stretch. Um... It does scratch fast, but at the end of the day, it's a TV remote. It's for holding and clicking. It's not for looking at. You don't stare at the remote like this when you're using it. You know, you just get a feel for it. You're used to where the volume buttons are. You're used to where the power button is. Um, the Elysium says HDR is the most overrated feature on TVs, more so than curved. At least with curved, you could see it was stupid. <laughs> That's true. Um... I like, the I, I like the new remote, says Mike. I still find myself talking to my watcher phone to get my Apple TV to do stuff. Really? I never got used to that. I never tried to do that. Maybe I should. Um, the, the remote does have one issue, lightning. That's true. Same issue that my Magic Mouse has. Same issue that my um, Magic Keyboard has. But the good news is, like my Magic Mouse and Magic Keyboard, you don't have to uh, charge this thing very often. It typically lasts like... How long does it last for you guys? I think for my Magic Mouse and stuff, it'll go like six weeks on a charge. Maybe more. But um, I've heard people say with these things, you can get them to last months between charges. So try controlling your Apple TV with the built-in remote app on your iPad. I can't. The iPad's dead. <laughs> I got to charge it. Maybe you would love your iPad again. I don't think so. I don't think so, Jones. <laughs> They have an Apple TV app for the PS5, the Xbox, Roku, and even Android TV boxes. I know. It doesn't work very well on the Roku, though. It's pretty laggy. Um, you can use it while it's charging, too. I could, but... Okay, I was about to say there's no lightning cable here, but that's a lie. There's a six-foot uh, lightning cable on that side of the couch that my wife uses when... Because her phone battery isn't very good, and trust me, she does not want a new phone. Don't, don't tell me... The, Drew's a bad husband because he doesn't buy his wife a phone. I'm like, honey, would you like a new phone? No, I'm fine with this one. She doesn't want a new phone. <laughs> she likes her current phone, but the battery's not great. So when the battery gets low, she just likes to plug in. And we spend a lot of time at home, so that's not a big deal to her. Um, so we do have a lightning cable right over there that, unfortunately, we use. Um, that doesn't make lightning good, but... We just have to accept that it's in our life and it's here, you know. We're in an abusive relationship with lightning. It's here, but it's it's a thing. Um, 
Thelism says down with the C. I'm you better be careful. You're gonna get banned for that. Hey, cousin Matt's in the chat. Couple gens ago, Apple TV remotes had a trackpad. Worst thing they ever made. How's this one, cuz? I think this is the best compromise because for one, cousin Matt, if you don't like the uh, trackpad, you can disable it completely and turn it just into a regular D-pad like a normal old remote. But um, we got it all setting up here so that the uh, this one remote turns the TV on and off. Um, it can it has a mute button now. And uh, I can control the TV volume straight from it. So I don't even have to interact with any other remotes. I just have this one remote here that can stay on the couch. And um, that does everything. And now the HomePod is wirelessly uh, my speaker system. And it sounds much better than the TV speakers. At least I think it does. Hopefully my wife likes this setup. We'll see. You get the best of both. Because if you, if you do want a trackpad, this can act like a trackpad. But if you don't like it doing the touch swipe stuff, it's you can totally disable it. You can change the home screen saver by swiping left or right on the D-pad. Really? Oh, wow, that's cool. All right, why don't I show that? Just because it's fun. Got the the only reason the TV looks very reflective is because the curtains are open, which they almost never are. Only reason they were open was because I was live streaming and I wanted the lighting to look better. But let me show you a more realistic view okay so that's how the tv usually looks uh man the macbook is hot why aren't the fans running you're hot maybe it's trying to preserve my audio quality or something but there's the remote <sighs> look downtown los angeles or downtown los angeles or okay that's not doing what i want but the volume indicator looks so much cleaner than the TV, uh, the Roku TV's volume indicator. You can listen. Wow, that sounds good. Oh, where's Picture in Picture? I thought that was on YouTube now. Is that not on TVOS? I won't get docs, don't worry. Matt says, I hated the last one. Good to hear they made part of it physical. Yes, I hated the last one too. I got used to the trackpad, but no one else did. Like, any time my wife would use the remote, she would swipe and it would go way too far, and then she'd swipe the other way and it'd go way too far. But uh, our old remote didn't have the dictation, so I'm glad to finally have that again. In case you're curious, we got the 32 gigabyte Apple TV. I don't know if that matters, but there it is. Um, I don't think I'm going to fill it up with anything, though. You can pick your themes in the settings. Uh, my Samsung remote is surprisingly good at controlling my Apple TV, PS3, and Roku. Well, good for you. But this is my favorite. I've used the Samsung TV remotes. I still think these are better, personally. Um, and I can turn it off. Oh, wait. Press and hold to switch everything off. I don't like that. You know what? I just decided I don't want that. Um... Click pad. See, there it is. In the remotes and devices settings, it says click and touch. You can switch it to click only, and then it'll it'll ignore all the trackpad stuff. I kind of like the trackpad stuff, so I'll keep it. Um, do you have to hold down the power button? Where would that be? Accessibility. Display, motion, switch controls, off, AirPods. Is there any way to turn that off? Sleep now. <laughs> or for sleep now or forever hold your peace. Y'all are crazy. The last one was the best. <laughs> you can set up different profiles. And eh, no need. My wife and I use the same account for everything. Same passwords. On the Apple engraving section of the Apple Store app, they still have the iPod touch shown. That's probably a mistake. It's always a hold to run it off, otherwise you do it by accident. That's not true. There are no accidents. I do not make mistakes. Everything, I, that's why I don't have a case on my phone because I don't drop it. I wish you could change that. You have to hold it. Oh, this is just a nonstop disappointment. <laughs> Fine, I'll get used to it. I can also turn it off from my phone, I believe. Right? Can I just... Here. Uh, living room? Yeah, right here. I have to hold it down on 
the phone too? Oh my god. I don't have that kind of time. You know how much time I would save if I could just click the button? One? Who is accidentally clicking that button? Look how high up it is. It's so high up there. No one's accidentally cl clicking that. I jinxed myself so hard. I know I did. Everything is a happy accident, including me. <laughs> I chucked my phone five feet to swipe a sw to swipe a spider off of me. Really? Your money tree. She's suffering. My Apple TV remote will not do the volume, so I'm stuck with the Samsung remote for that. See, that is a pet peeve of mine. I cannot stand having more than one remote. There, In my view, in my setup, for my living room, there has to be one remote, and that's it. And that controls everything. No questions asked. You just click power, and then it does the HDMI arc thing, and then boom, it shows up to the Apple TV. That's the way it works. That's the, that's how dad does it. That's how America does it. <laughs> and it's worked out pretty great so far. Give us a tour of your crib. I did one on Talos of Talks a few years ago, but um, we've, we're packing for a trip. So I'm sorry, you don't get to see the bedroom and everything because it's not clean right now. It's just a three second hole. Three seconds? That's way too long. Every, you know how many times I turn on and turn off the TV in a day? That's going to equal out to like 30 seconds per day. That's a minute every two days. 15 minutes a month. That's uh. Oh my God. Does TVOS have a calculator? What's 15 times 12? Doesn't know. Can't answer the question. All right. That's ridiculous. Where's Siri on my MacBook? Oh, yeah, I removed it from all the docs now. <laughs> Dang, world traveler. Yeah, we're going to see my mom and dad. Um, Because we haven't seen them for a while. You can train the remote to mimic your TV remote presses. Really? You think Tim Cook uses an Apple TV? <laughs> Why would he do that? No, of course not. Thanos snap. I want it to learn my snap so that every time I do this, it knows to turn off. When you hold it, it turns off, receives via HDMI, and there's an IR blaster for the rest of your devices. I'm guessing you have to hold it for a functioning reason. Ugh. Disgusting. 180 minutes. Thank you, Mike. I'm wasting 180 minutes a year on this button. That's ridiculous. Uh, I think you're the first person I've seen online to Siri on the Apple TV. Well, that's probably the last time. You can hold this, right? Oh, sleep. All connected devices. That's cool. I like the little slide over thing. I don't know how long that's been a thing, but I haven't used tvOS in a while. So, well done, Apple. Thank you for uh, fixing the Siri remote and uh, making such a clean setup. And uh, thank you for finally letting the HomePod be like the default speaker. I think it sounds great. Yeah, of course. Tim uses the Fire TV stick, obviously. $300 HomePod can't answer a math question. I bet the HomePod can, just not the TV. That's it. When you turn off the TV, it's like, Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good. <laughs> That's great. That's so pathetic, it can't answer math. I know it's a computer that doesn't compute, right? There's a garbage can over there. I should throw all this garbage in there. That would make sense. Um... Should I just keep, I, f I feel like my, how long have I been live? Almost two hours. So my wife texted me. Feels wrong to end the live stream when we're having so much fun. But the MacBook is at 13% right now. So I'm trying to decide in my head, should I stream until the MacBook battery dies? Or should I stream until my wife gets home or both? Uh, or one, one or the other. I don't know. But either way, she'll be happier if I clean up the garbage a little bit so I'm gonna put this in my pocket and the trash in the trash and hopefully she comes home and goes oh, wow look at this and instead of uh, oh my god Drew what did you do to our TV you broke it I want more uh, screensaver options though uh, Where's video and audio? 
I mean, screensaver settings. No. What is Siri for? I tried like 15 things on Siri on this TV and it, I can't figure out anything. I think we could get rid of this button, Tim. Who brings home the bacon? Uh, we both do. We go together. We're invested. We want your wife's reaction. I kind of see her come home and yell at you for making a mess. <laughs> I actually tidied up a little bit. Come on. Give me some credit. This this little center console thing was not in the center, and now it is. That's, that's got to be worth something. Actually, the first thing she'll say when she gets home is probably, why is it so hot in here? Because we normally have a fan running, and uh, for the sake of the audio of this live stream, I don't have it running. But um, she'll probably be like, wow, it's hot in here. Um, I also had to unplug. I needed an extension plug for the HomePod and the Apple TV to work. So I had to unplug one over here. So now that lamp in the corner doesn't turn on. But we haven't turned on that lamp in weeks anyway. Google Voice is so much better than Siri. I believe you, Dennis. If you use this for 10 years and turn the TV off every day, then you've wasted 30 hours of your life. Wow. That's so bad. It's probably in general, huh? Screensaver. Yep. Download new video weekly. <laughs> I just did a T-Mobile speed test right before we started this live stream. It was over 500 megabits down. No joke. T-Mobile has been very stable lately, lately, which I'm very happy with. And my wife very adorably put googly eyes on the gateway. So our gateway has come to life. And uh, it hasn't had any crashes since the last rant video I posted. And the download speeds are getting faster. Uh, the upload speed is about the same, but uh, download is over 500 megabytes. No, we're going daily, son. Download a new video. How, how, where's the option for now? Choose which aerials are displayed. Yes. Landscape, earth, underwater. I want... Underwater. Oh, no, they're all on show. Which one do I not want? How do you activate screensaver again? Do you hold something? Not that. Which one is it? Pause. You guys know this. Activate screensaver. I can't do that here. You can't do anything. I'm glad it's working for you so we can all enjoy the awesome content. Click menu a bunch of times. That's just multitasking. That does nothing. Um, I only use Siri for power controls. You got a bump on your neck. You know what that is. It's a cyst. We had it checked out by a dermatologist years ago, but people keep asking. Thank you for checking. I know it comes from a good point. You think I haven't thought about it, but yes, I, I do look at my body sometimes and I can see things. It's, it's not cancerous. It's okay. Back button twice. Ah, thank you. You guys are so helpful. That's what I love about having live streams like this. I can just ask any question and there's, you know, 170 people watching. One of you is bound to know the answer. So I can just snap like that and boom. You know it. Um, she had to put those on there to make it an iDevice. Uh, it's an Apple chip. Yeah, that's right. This is where I put the uh, Apple M7 processor. It makes me think faster. But uh, it uses one NAND, so I'm kind of slow sometimes. Siri's only purpose is for rewinding a specific time amount. Oh, <gasps> she can do that? I want to try that. Swipe. Different screensaver. How come every time I swipe, it plays the same one? I want it to play a different one. Oh, well. Is YouTube still running? It is. Okay. Um, let me see. This is what I like the trackpad for. I can just swipe to the delete button. Spam it. Go back to me. Reacting to me. <laughs> That's so weird. So what if I'm like, 
go back 30 minutes. Whoa! That is so cool! I did not know Siri could do that. We can just go back and witness this all over again. Yeah, I tried up and down. It didn't change. That looks good on OLED. It looks good on anything. Shut up. <laughs> need to find another old HomePod for surround sound? No, that sounds great. I don't need any more sound than that. That's I personally was fine with the TV speakers. The HomePod is like an added perk because I wasn't using the HomePod for anything. Now the HomePod has a purpose. Um, it's the Twilight Zone. <laughs> Keep the cycle going. What did he in a video say? What did he say? And it'll go back minus five seconds and put on subtitles for those five seconds. What? Are you serious, Greg? Wait, are Please subtitles on? It automatically hears it. How do you uh, get rid of the? I'm surprised okay. a tech savvy person like you would have such an F. What did he say? He says, "Sorry, I couldn't go back." Like plays a sound and listens to what's around it. What did he say? Couldn't go back. Does it have to be an edited video? Let's try the yesterday's video. What's surround sound? We are so I, guys, you, you don't... Maybe the webcam makes this room look bigger than it is. I don't have a very big house, y'all. Matt and Mike in the chat, they've been to my house. They can attest. Do you, do you need surround sound in a room like this? Okay, so if I'm in the middle of watching a video, I'm like, what's happening? Easily get a hold of one like, and try it out for you. What did he, what did he say? So sorry, I, the product, it does so go back, but it doesn't turn on subtitles. I'm guessing it's YouTube's fault. Well, I will try that on another streaming app, but I'm gonna get copyright striked if I play something else. Um, it doesn't work on YouTube. Period. I guess. Um, can you sell that HomePod for six hundred dollars? You can <laughs> we tried to sell that HomePod years ago for $200 and no one bought it. Um, so we just kept it. You need to watch the part of the video where you are watching yourself and then it will be three of you. Okay. You guys love the Inception thing, so. But I don't want any feedback, so. We'll have the, we'll have the loop going so that the TV <laughs> TV's playing itself. Did you get three months of Apple TV Plus with this? I don't think so. I thought I already used... When Apple TV Plus first came out, it was like if you buy most Apple products, you get a year for free. And then they extended that like 15... I think I got like 15 or 16 months. Oh, look at it. It's going now. It's like It went like 16 months of free Apple TV Plus. And I'll be honest, didn't use it very much. There weren't that many shows I liked. There was maybe a couple, but the problem is I haven't run out of shows to watch on my free serving, uh, my free services. Like, there's still a bunch of TV shows I'm going through on Peacock. There's shows we're going through on Paramount and Discovery Plus, um, which I get thanks to Matt, by the way, in case you guys are wondering. I said earlier, I get Discovery Plus through a friend. That's shout out to Matt. So thanks, Matt. Crazy surround sound for 90 Day Fiance. <laughs> I want it to feel like Big Ed is talking into my ear as I'm watching it. <laughs> Ryan says, I got an Apple TV Plus code if you wanted. Wait, is there a code for those things? How do you even redeem it? Um, does live streaming make YouTube money? I've never tried it on my channels. A little bit, yeah. It's the same as a video. If you get watch time on it, that counts. Um... HomePod OG will only get 600 if boxed and unopened. Really? People spend $600 on unopened HomePods? That's ridiculous. Greyhound. I'm sure it's a great movie. It's just me and my wife aren't really into that kind of thing. Uh, we watch a lot of uh, reality TV. We've actually been watching a lot of old shows on YouTube. Um we watch more YouTube than anything, and I don't think surround sound is going to be very helpful on the TV shows that we're watching that were filmed in the 90s. So, best buy giving codes when you buy certain Apple products. Huh. If you want HBO Max, I got you, Drew. How does, one, how, do, how does one get me? How do you do that? What You just, like, give me your login info or what? Thank you, though. That's kind of you. As you can see, 
I like to leech off of all of my friends equally so that there's there's a fair um, <laughs> balance in the force, you know. HomePods go for a lot on eBay now that they've been discontinued. Really? Paid 200 for my second one, drove two hours to get it. I think Mike has a similar story. <laughs> Mike actually bought my old HomePods, so. Uh, but I gave him a barbecue, so. There's a little bit of, there's a, there's a back and forth. There's a bartering going on. You should be able to get a year free of Apple TV Plus because of your internet through T-Mobile. I haven't seen that offer yet. And um, honestly, there's not a show on TV Plus that I think I would watch. We're, we're trying to keep up with all the shows on our free streaming services, and we, we still haven't. We've been going through a Psych on Peacock, and we still haven't finished it. You see that Ryan Trahan challenge thing? So wholesome and good. We watched every episode. I don't think we did, no. There's too many There's too many TV shows to watch. I can't watch all of them. He gets free Apple TV Plus. Should, I didn't get an email. Should I have? What, what was I supposed to get? Because I didn't buy this from Apple, so. Unopened OG HomePod. Man, I should have bought more OG HomePods and kept them. They would have done better than Go EV stock. Oh my god, I got so many emails. Oh no. What the heck? T-Mobile says your payment was successful. Hey, T-Mobile, why did I get chart? Oh, that's right. So what I've noticed is that there are certain perks. Um, there are certain perks that T-Mobile phone customers get that home internet customers do not get. So there may be a perk of... Uh, that you're hearing about of, oh, if you have your phone su service through T-Mobile, but I do not. I just have the home internet, and you don't get all that stuff. Did you like the Obi-Wan show? I liked parts of it, but not most of it. Mostly because I didn't watch all of it. <laughs> the parts I didn't watch were not interesting to me. I, I did not care about all the other characters. I just wanted Obi-Wan Kenobi stuff, and they turned it into a bunch of other characters. So. And I, I think over time I've discovered I'm more of a... I like Star Wars music more than anything. And unfortunately, in the Kenobi show, they did not use that much John Williams music, which I was bummed out about. Um, Severance on Apple TV is really good. I heard that's really good. I just, again, I, I'm going through so many shows at the moment. Oh, Matt's texting me right now. <laughs> Matt sent me the link. Thank you for that. What are all these emails coming from? I'm so grateful that I get 3% cash back on T-Mobile, though. I'm glad that um, I'm glad that perk is still offered. Because I signed into my YouTube account on the Apple TV, I'm getting all these emails. How come every time you sign into your Google account, Google is like, Oh my god! Something went wrong! Yeah, I think there's a lot of great shows that uh, just my wife would not want to watch. And I like watching shows with my wife. And if she doesn't enjoy it, then I'm probably not going to enjoy it much either. So, one of these days when we run out of stuff to watch on our free services, we will probably check out all of these shows you guys are listing. Um, probably not watching The Boys with the Wife. I think we started it, and then there was a scene that you probably can imagine that was like, okay, let's turn this off. You know. <laughs> it's like we're watching Inception here with Picture in Picture. I know, you guys seem to find this really intriguing, which is fun. I don't know why you guys think it's funny, but it is. I guess it's entertaining for you. You can figure out how much of a delay there is. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, Ben. He says, it's like we're watching Inception here. Yeah, sorry. I just read that. Westworld is literally the best show. I've heard about Westworld, and I'm sure it's well done and well executed and stuff, but some people don't like content to be that dark some people are sad and sick of how dark the real world really is and they want to go on tv for an escape and oftentimes making that tv that making that escape funny and uplifting and enjoyable is more relaxing and comforting to people watching tv um once we've watched all of youtube we will watch your dumb suggestion <laughs> yeah that's right. I haven't finished watching all of YouTube yet. Guys, have you heard of YouTube? There's a bunch of videos on there. 
I'm still trying to watch all of the content, but I'm not there yet. Swipe to the right or left to change the screensaver. I know. I know. Okay, watch. Watch this. Double back. Swipe to the right. Now it works. Jeez. All right. United Arab Emirates is a road in Dubai. Wow, look at all that traffic. None of that traffic would exist if they had public transportation. Oh, wait, there's bus in the traffic, too. And there's a train right there. Wait, if there's a train, why are there cars? There can only be one. Oh, my God. Thank you, Dennis P. He says, let's get a Super Chat Jane going to round out the show. Best phone plan. Hashtag best phone plans. Anyway, got to go live myself, Drew. You're the best. Text me. I will send you the login info later. Thank you, Dennis. That's very kind of you. You don't need to do that. But I appreciate the Super Chat. There's no need for a Super Chat train. There's already a train on the TV. And that one's far better than the Super Chat train would be because that one's going to cost you money. Whereas even if you guys don't have an Apple TV, we can watch this one. So please, no more Super Chats. We'll just turn it off from here on out. Uh, the MacBook battery is low anyway. It's probably going to die. I'm at 5%. And we've been live for over two hours. Jeez. I will so slowly download more screensavers over a few days. Oh, it will slowly. I see. Sometimes Drew doesn't read very well, but you can't blame for, blame me for that. I'm a college dropout. And you're the reason I'm a college dropout. All these people supporting, you know, I couldn't do... All you people watching the stream, all you people uh, that super chat or are channel members, like Joshua, swipe to the right or left. Thank you, Joshua, for the advice. You have to watch Better Call Saul. Oh, dude, I'm a huge Better Call Saul fan. I'm just waiting for the final season to air so that i can get an AFC, amc plus trial and then watch everything no 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 we said no more super chats josh do i have to ban you i will start muting anyone who super chats if if you guys keep that going not okay but thank you for it thank you it's awfully awfully kind and generous but you're gonna make me feel bad because i don't deserve this uh ariel is a great mac os extension gives the apple tv screensavers to the mac I think they added that. How come my iMac Pro that's on macOS Ventura has the screensavers? It has like tvOS screensavers on it. Okay, there's the animation. Thank you, Josh. Some websites have horrible download speeds. That's true. Um, the stream has to go until Louise walks in the door. You know what? She said she would be back in about two hours, and it's been over two hours. I hope she's okay. Um, I should check in with her. I know Better Call Say Better Call Saul came back recently, but I'm a, I'm a huge Vince Gilligan fan. Breaking Bad is like one of my favorite TV shows of all time, and now Better Call Saul is too. So I'm not caught up on it. Um, I blame Inception Drew. The stream. Thanks for fun. Let me see. Now that it's downloaded some more screensavers, can we try a different one? Ooh, flying over the Burnt Canyon area of Grand Canyon. Wow, I've never seen that one. That looks really good. Thanks to it being 4K. Matt! No! You're a moderator. I can't mute you. And your family. That isn't. That shouldn't count. <laughs> thank you. I mean, thank you, but that's not fair. Stop the... Okay, one, that's it. One more super chat. I'm going to start muting you if you donate. One more. That's all it takes. I'm warning y'all. MacBook is at 4% battery. So if the live stream suddenly ends, you're going to know why. There's the animation. Got to get some of that Los Pollos Hermanos. Uh, how do you refund a person in their super chat? I know they need that option. Matt, you're too kind. No more super chats. There needs to be a refund button. When I click on the super chat, I can I can report it. That's funny. Report. Man is super chatting the live stream against my will. I want a refund button. I've been asking YouTube to add that for a long time. No more donating. Um, I haven't been able to kill my 14-inch MacBook battery. This might be the first time I kill my MacBook's battery. But I did a lot on it today. <gasps> Michael super chatted. He said, ratio plus I'm super chatting anyways. All right, all right. I, you were warned. You're being put in timeout, Mike. You can't disregard the rules. <laughs> we said no more super chats. 
<laughs> it's not not allowed. Are you getting an M2 MacBook Air? Yes, tomorrow. The MacBook Air has... Well, let me check on it. Let's see if it's shipped. I'll check the app. It says... Yes, it has shipped. <gasps> no, 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 no. Joshua super chat, uh, super stickered. I guess that's a little different. He said, try again. Put user in timeout. No more messages, Joshua. You've dis you've disobeyed the, you've violated the law. Pay the court a fine or serve your sentence. <laughs> no super chats. No more super chats. Okay, it has shipped. It says it arrives tomorrow. So you'll have to wait a little bit longer. Uh, on the way, arrives July 15th. Where is it? Can I check it? Shipment progress. It's in Kentucky right now. Somehow it'll get here tomorrow. I would have super chatted if I had money. No, don't. Even if you have money, do not super chat. Do you use the default Twitter app for iPhone? Yes. I don't like the other ones that much. Okay, the MacBook is at 1%. I think we better wrap it up here. I better say goodbye now because... Um, the MacBook's probably just going to shut off. <laughs> but I appreciate you for all of your reverse psychology super chats. All of you ignoring me and donating anyway. It's very uh, generous of you. I'm glad we got this setup working. I'm sorry we can't watch my wife's reaction. She's not here yet and the MacBook's going to die. So um, this has been fun. And uh, I'm glad it's working. Shout out to Mike again for... <sighs> Slide step says, what would be your opinions on Apple releasing a 24-inch 4K? Oh, my God. I can't answer that question. You donated, so I feel like I have to answer it. Now i got to run. Oh, where's the power? Where's the power cable? I'm going to trip on everything. Oh. Okay. We need MagSafe. This is going to be loud. I apologize. Ooh. One oh. percent... Sorry, I, I hate it when people super chat a question and I can't answer it because um, then I feel bad because it's like, oh my God, that person sent money. Now I got to answer this. Okay. Oh, the light's not on. Hold on. I have to be in character. Ow, my ankles popped. We need the light on. Okay. Now, whoa, the webcam got all laggy there for a second. Did you see that? That is loud. You do like ignoring me, don't you, James? All right. Is it still delayed? The MacBook The MacBook thought it was going to die, and then I just plugged in the 140-watt USB-C brick. Yeah, it is laggy. That's weird. That's a weird bug. Okay. Thank you again for the super chat. Uh, Slidestep says, What would be your opinions on Apple releasing a 24-inch 4K 120Hz Thunderbolt monitor? Personally, I would be able to justify $2,500 for it. Everything about that sounds okay, other than, like, 24 inches is, like, bizarrely small, especially because they already have the 24-inch iMac, and that's, um, maybe portrait mode is throwing it off. I keep seeing the webcam lag. I've never seen it do that before. That's weird. Um, they already have a 4.5K 24-inch iMac, so why they would go lower resolution would make very little sense to me. And also, if it's going to be ProMotion, that's that's a higher-end monitor. You would probably want it to be in the ballpark of somewhere between 27 inches to uh, 32 inches. And I would prefer that myself. I Like, I've used the 24-inch iMac, and it's, you know, other than the white bezels and chin and the fact that it's completely ugly, you know, that screen size, if you're just talking about a 24-inch monitor, um, it's fine, but go big or go home you know it's, it'd be much much better if it was larger so okay i think i'm all caught up on the super chats um sidestep because you disobeyed the rules i'm putting you in timeout there was no super chats allowed earlier so you're not sidestepping the rule slide stepping the rules but thank you for your question i haven't heard any rumors about that monitor happening so i don't think it's going to it is like you're watching found footage um 24 inches is pretty small. But anyway, man, this MacBook charges fast. It's already at 7%. 12-inch 8K monitor. Thank you all for joining me on this uh, Apple TV journey. Um, I'll talk about my experiences as we use it. And uh, the next time I go live, I won't be here. I'll be in a different uh, state. 
<laughs> with mom and dad and uh we need uh we don't need more super chat questions don't encourage them matt it makes me feel weird <laughs> but i want to um i will share with you guys next time i'm live what my wife thinks of the setup if she's happy with it if she likes it because obviously i'm curious what she thinks but um this has got to charge up and the macbook's already at nine percent that was quick if you end the stream i will super chat more well you won't be able to because i'll mute you so ha it won't work i'm with deluxe for arms as well i love star wars for the memes that's the best part about star wars even if the movies suck or something there's there's still some good memes to get out of it anyway thank you all for tuning in i appreciate you all for watching hope you have an excellent rest of your day take care all bye bye